and welcome back to another video. Today we're back with another match preview. This time it's Plymouth Argyle versus Swansea City in the Sky Bit Championship this Saturday, 3 p.m. kickoff away at Home Park. So let's get straight into it then. Obviously, we're off the back of um, three wins in a row. Um, obviously, back to back 3 0 wins against Sheffield Wednesday and Millwall, and then a 2 1 win at home earlier on this week. Um, so, yeah. I think the reaction since the Cardiff game uh, from the players has been, you know, impeccable. Same from with Duff. I think his reaction since the Cardiff game has been really good. And uh, the reaction of the fans as well, to be honest with you. I think, you know, we're in a really good place at the moment. Hopefully that can continue. Um, it's not going to be an easy game against Plymouth. Uh, it really is. And I know they won 6-2 against Norwich in one of their previous games at home. So they do know how to play at home and they, you know... Uh, they're definitely a very, uh, very hard side to play against on their day. But um, yeah, what would you say going into this game? Yeah, it's gonna be a tricky game. Um, you know, you know, we all know Plymouth beat Norwich six two, but then they did lose in the midweek as well. So you know, anything can happen in football, really. Uh, you know, we are in a good, we are on a good run at the moment. Obviously, three wins and three unbeaten in our in our last four. So you know, at the moment, you know, we are doing very well. But you know, we need to keep this momentum going now. Um. You know, we have hard games coming up. Luckily, this is the last game before the international break. But then we have um, Leicester home straight after that. So, you know, we have tough games coming up. But, you know, I think this is definitely a winnable game, no doubt about it. You know, and it's not easy to go, you know, to go and play away from home. But, um, you know, I think we do have this in the bag, you know, on good form. So, you know, there's no reason why we shouldn't win this game, in my opinion. Yeah, they're now going on to the injury news then. To start off with Plymouth, Luke will give you the Plymouth injury news. Oh yeah, Plymouth have no injuries, so they were fully fit squad too. So yeah, and then as for the Swans, we're the complete opposite. We have got six injuries and one doubt. So uh, the long term ones are obviously Nathan Wood, Joe Allen, and Josh Ginnelly. Um and then uh, Christian Pedersen. I don't believe will be in contention to play this. Um, again, another long term in Azim Abdullah. He'll be out. And Nathaniel Ogbetta, I believe, is similar to Pedersen. I don't know if he's um, you know fully fit yet and ready to be in contention. And then the uncertainty is Ben Cabango. I know he did go off against Norwich, so hopefully it's nothing too serious. Hopefully it's just a little bit of a knock. But um, now we're going on to the key players then, to start off with Plymouth. The three I've gone with, um, the first two did actually play for us last season. Um, first one is Luke Cundall, who was a very good player for us um, on loan from Wolves last season. And secondly, Morgan Whitaker, who, to be honest with you, uh, found it hard to find his feet um, at Swansea. But... Um, you know, there's definitely a player in there and on his day he's definitely capable and he did show that in his first spell at Plymouth. And thirdly they're gonna go with Ryan Hardy as well. But would you add anyone else? Uh no, I think I will just stick with the three that you said. Um yeah, it was a shame it never really worked out for Whitaker and the Russell Martin, but and you know, it, it is a shame Duff never really, you know, tried to keep him and try and fit him into our team. But, you know, he is a good player, no doubt about it. You know, he was good in his first spell um at Plymouth before he got recalled by Russell Martin. And then, you know, which is quite pointless, really. Uh, you know, it didn't really benefit us in any way. But, you know, I'm glad he's doing good now. Obviously, you know, I still wish him all the best. And he is doing very well with Plymouth, which is good to see. So, obviously, Luke Cundall, as you said, obviously one of our former players, who I did really like, to be fair. You know, I'm kind, you know I kind of wish we did bring him back on a, you know, a second season loan. But, you know, it is what it is. That's football. But, yeah, I do agree with the three people that you said. Yeah, and then uh, for the Swans, and if there's any Plymouth fans watching this, I think these are the players you need to look out for. Number one, I'm going to go with our skipper, Matt Grimes. I think he's been terrific this season. Uh, secondly, I'm going to go with Jamal Lowe, who's now got three goals in three games. And thirdly, I'm going to go with the match winner on Wednesday night, um, Bashir Humphreys. Uh, you know, a hell of a finish, and defensively he's been superb as well. But would you add anyone else? Um, I think... I think I'd have to add Carl Rushworth in there. I think he has been solid. You know, I think the goal against Norwich, there wasn't really much he could really do there. Because, you know, he was, he was just open. Because the player was open in the box. It was a simple header, really, in the end. No one was marking him, so... But, you know, I think Rushworth, he's had a good season so, so far for us on loan. You know, I think he's been one of our better players. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think he's kept, what, two clean sheets in his last three games. So, you know, he's doing all right so far, I'd say. So, I'd add him to that list. Yeah, and then now the team lineup I'm going to go with then. So um, I'm actually looking at it now in front of me, and out of this team lineup I'm going to go with, only four players were with us last season, which just shows, you know, how good of a um, transfer window we really had. But um, yeah, the lineup I'm going to go with then. So in goals, I'm going to go with Carl Rushworth. Right back, I'm going to go with Josh Key. 
Left back, I'm going to go with Josh Tyman. Um, obviously, if Caban goes injured. Two centre-halves, I'm going to go with Harry Darlin. I think he's been excellent the last few games and probably our best centre-half this season. Um, and then I'm going to obviously shift Bashir Humphreys into the centre-half role due to Cabango's injury. Um, three in midfield, I'm going to go with Matt Grimes, Charlie Patino um, and Ollie Cooper. Two wide players, I'm going to go with Jamal Lowe and Jamie Patterson. And up front, I'm going to go with Mikola Kukarevich. But yeah, what's your line-up? Um, yeah, I think I'd actually agree with you on that line-up, to be honest. I think I'd maybe shove um, Fulton in there instead of Cooper, because I feel like Cooper can be better as an impact player. But I think defensively, I agree with you. I think, you know, in, well, in the Norwich game when Cabango went off, Bashir Humphreys did go in the centre-back, and then Tymon went out uh, to the left-hand side, and they both did, um, you know, quite well in their positions. So, you know, yeah, I don't really see why we need to change the team a lot, you know, considering, you know, we've won our last three games. So, you know, I'm going to keep the same team as you and then potentially bring in Fulton to replace um, Oli Cooper. Yeah, and then finally the score prediction then. So, you know, why not go positive? We've won three in a row. Let's make that four in a row. I'm going to go with Plymouth Argyle nil, Swansea City 2. Um, I'm going to go for the Swans. I'm going to go with Mikola Kukarevich and I'm going to go with Jamie Patterson to get his uh, first league goal of the season. But what about you? Uh I think I'll be a bit more confident. I think we'll, I think we'll win three one. Um, you know, I think we'll end. Um, you know, before the international break on a high. I think we will end it on a high. Uh, going into the international break. Um, goal scorer also go for. I think Jamal Lowe will carry on. You know, he's been on good form recently. Three and three can't knock it. So I think you'll get a goal. Um, I think yeah, Jamie Patterson. I agree with you. I think you'll get a goal as well. And then, I'll go for. I'll go for Kukarevich off the bench because he will most likely come on as a, as a sub in, um, in the second half, most likely. And then for Plymouth, it'll have to be Morgan Whitaker, no doubt about it, because our, play, our former players always score against us. Yep, you just know it's going to happen. But um, yeah, obviously a massive thanks for watching this. We will be back tomorrow with a match day vlog. Unfortunately, I won't be able to attend the game again, I know. Um, it's, it's my mum's wedding the day before, so I'll be, you know, drinking and... Um, yeah, so I'm going to be very hungover the next day and I'm staying over at the wedding venue as well. So, yeah, I think maybe I'll give this one a miss. But, um, yeah, Luke Luke will be vlogging um, this game anyway, um, just like uh, Shepherd Wednesday and Millwall. I know, as I said, I have only been to one out of the last five games, which is pretty poor for me. Of course, but, um, it's a poor show. Yeah. I know, it is poor. But the good, the good, on a more positive note, after the international break, I believe I'm going to the next eight games home and away. So... That's a better turnout for me, but um, yeah, once again, a massive thanks for watching this and stay tuned for Luke's Matchday Vlog tomorrow. Yeah, cheers.